Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long since I actually made a video, but I have a good excuse for this. It's exam period and I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so stressed, but the reason I actually wanted to make this video is because I received this package over here from back home from Cyprus from my family and it's full of Cypriot food and Cypriot snacks. So I just wanted to take a bit of time to show you some of my favorite snacks that are in here. And then unfortunately I have to go back to studying, but let me just show you some of the Cypress snacks that are in here. Okay, let's start with this one. So this one, it's called Eon Chocolate. And I'm not really the person that is gonna ask for a chocolate, but when my mom told me that they wanted to send me a package for Easter, I was like, okay, sure, I want this chocolate. And basically Eon Chocolate is a Greek company chocolate, and I really like it. Then we have, of course, this, which are the Cypriot morning coffee and everyone who lives in Cyprus and every Cypriot on this planet Earth likes this and they have this at their home. So basically what we usually do is that we eat this uh, with our coffee and we dip the the biscuits inside the coffee and this is like just a dream <laughs> i really love them then we have oh, more packages of this of course uh then we have this and we call this pita di sajis and basically it's like a pastry with a uh, honey inside and cinnamon and honestly you guys if you didn't try it yet, you have to because it's like heaven. I'm telling you, it's heaven. Like even a small bite of this, oh my god, you will love it. <laughs> then we have this, which uh, we in Cyprus we call it burguri and pilafi, and basically says that it's a secret traditional product. And it's like couscous, but it's not couscous. Uh, but the reason I like this is because it's very easy to make. And as a student that I don't have time to cook really, this is perfect because I just boil the water, I put some of this and boom, you have food ready to eat. So this is like very convenient for uh, students. Then uh, of course we have our Nescafe, our coffee because Let's be honest, without coffee, I can't leave. So I honestly really needed this. And thanks God, because actually my last uh, teaspoon of coffee, I finished it this morning. And so I have to open this now. Then what we have, then we have Maggi. So basically, I don't know about you guys, but in Cyprus we call this Manji, but my friends here, they said that they call it Maggi, but I'm just gonna call it Manji because that's how we call it in Cyprus. <laughs> but basically it's this. And I'm not sure if I can find it here, but my mom always uh, sent me some of this to use with everything basically. Then I have this, which is not rice. It looks like rice, but it's not. Uh, in Cyprus, we call it grisaragi. We usually cook it with um, tomato sauce and then minced meat. And it's, oh my God, it tastes so good. I'm telling you guys, it tastes so good. And then we have another chocolate and it's another Eon one. And I like this as well. I honestly love this one. It's a milk chocolate with whole almonds. And honestly, I love this one. 
and the packages as well look at this it's so cute <laughs> okay then we have oh my god we have a bunch of this <laughs> so basically this is my favorite dry fruit and it's dried pomelo as we call it in cyprus and i honestly just love this it's actually a very nice snack to have while you're studying or while you're doing something else it's a very good snack like instead of eating something that is like you know bad for your health like this chocolate here <laughs> just kidding <laughs> it's like good to have you know dry fruits around uh to snack so thanks for my mom put some of this inside then we have of course the cypria coffee because without this cypria coffee and this coffee i just can't live my life okay next we have these things which i'm very excited about and indeed these ones are cypria products and they are coconut rolls in cyprus we call them endogarida and honestly i just want to open this already and eat because oh my god it's been so long i since i had this and let me tell you guys if you have a chance to try some of this please do and you'll remember me they taste so good i mean to be fair all the superior snacks taste good so i mean i don't want to brag but look at this it tastes so good <laughs> okay then we have more dry fruits more snacks and here they are looks so good these are called uh in cyprus we call them chrysomila and they are dry apricots and honestly like dry fruits are the perfect snack for studying then i have oh i have more burguri and basically this one it's burguri mixed with uh, quinoa and i honestly really like this as well and it's easy to make too you just boil the water put some of this inside and this one i like it because i can make it as a salad as well so very easy food for students too then i got some you might this is might be funny but i asked for some lentils <laughs> because to be fair lentils here they're not like that and i was like what is wrong with people having red lentils so i was like mom can you please send me lentils because i love lentils there are people out, out there that are like no lentils why do you like lentils let me tell you if you know how to cook them if you cook them like we do in cyprus then you will love lentils that's the only thing i have to say <laughs> okay moving on okay this might sound funny but my grandpa loves me so much and he wanted to send me this which is basically uh walnuts so thank you so much grandpa for doing this for me <laughs> then we have oh my god okay we have a bunch of these things <laughs> Okay, so these are, they look like this. And they are basically breadsticks with um, sunflower seeds. And I love this so much as well, especially for studying as well. So you can already see that all the snacks I have, they are perfect for studying. And honestly, for this ones, even if you eat one breadstick, you're full. And I'm not even kidding. And it's a nice change uh, to have a snack that is not sweet. So I really like this one. Okay, moving on. And this is gonna be so funny, but it's so cute at the same time. So we have this. <laughs> and basically, these are fresh fruits from my grandpa's garden. But when he heard that my parents are going to send me a package with food, he insisted for me to get this from his garden. So he cut some of this and in Cyprus we call this mespila because he knows that I love them. So he insisted that he has to put some of this in the package. So, oh my God, I don't know about you guys, but I find this very cute. 
and I love this one so I have to eat them very quick because they are fresh and they're going to go bad so I'm very excited about this and then more funny things are coming up <laughs> I have this oh okay let me just show you what's inside here so this runs they are kuluria that's how we call them in Cyprus kuluria and we usually make them around Easter time and my grandma made this actually and I'm so excited oh my god they smell so good they look like this and again the perfect snack look at this oh my god only you can smell and taste this I guarantee that they are like heaven I'm not even kidding oh my god I just I just want to have a bite that right now <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much, Grandma and Grandpa. They are the sweetest. So, I got this, but tell me guys if if your parents and or your grandparents send you uh, food back from your home and do you find this weird or not? <laughs> okay, so I kept the best thing for last. And basically, this is my favorite pastry from Cyprus and it's almost finished <laughs> already because I already opened it. it it looks like that and it's already done uh, but basically this um, is a very sweet pastry and it's done uh, and it's made from tahini sauce and in Cyprus we call it tahinobita but if you want to be you know very Cypriot with a Cypriot accent we call it tahinobita and honestly guys if you have the chance if you go to cyprus and have the chance to try this remember me and try this it's it honestly tastes so good and it's my favorite pastry and i'm so excited and i'm telling you that by the end of today this whole thing is gonna get finished i'm gonna eat it all i'm just so excited about this but anyway guys that's all from me for today and I don't, I don't know tell me down below in the comments if you think that all these are weird or if your parents or grandparents send you things as well and if you ever tried one of these secret snacks then comment down below as well and tell me your opinions and if you like them and i guess i'll see you in seven weeks that i'll finish my exams <laughs> bye guys <laughs> all right so this is gonna yeah oh my god it looks so good i miss this so much i love this i'm so excited Okay, Calvin, it's time for you to try this. What is this again? So this is called Dachinobita, but in Cyprus, we call it Dachinobita. Can you say it? Da. Dachinobita. Dachinobita. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> Good? I don't know what flavor is though. I don't know what flavor that is. What? what? It's mm. sweet. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what it's actually made from? You know the um, the sauce tahini that I have. You know mm. the, the yeah, it's made from that. Mm. Is it good? Say, mm. Yeah. Okay. Rate it. I would say like. Mm, mm. I will give seven point five. <gasps> what? Seven point five. <laughs> Because no, this is my all, favorite. What is wrong with you? 7.5 is not good. No, it is good. It is good. It's just that, I mean, like, I was expecting a bit, you know, for it to be a little bit soft. Yeah, it's supposed to be soft, but come on, it came from Cyprus. What do you expect? Oh, oh it so came it's supposed from to be Cyprus. Soft, but then it, it got like. Calvin. Okay, 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 okay. No, guys, don't listen to Calvin. Hey. I love this. This video I give them. <laughs> I rate this. 
11 out of 10. I love the Hinobita. Mm, so it good. is good, it is good. This is my favorite actually. Mm. I love it. Mm. So try and tell me. You have to rate it. It's my favorite dry fruit. Yeah, if it's so if I like, like it there. <laughs> Good or not? Mm. I'm scared. Good? I told you I love yeah, it. Yeah, this is good. From 0 to 10. Mm, it's above there. <laughs> 9 point something. 9 point Ooh, something. Oh, yeah. yes! That oh. was success. <laughs> Calvin is going to try the kakana rolls. With chocolate. Yep. Oh, it's soft. It's so nice. Trust me, I love this. Smell. Smells like the eraser we use when we're. Oh my god! <laughs> but I was just eating. Okay. Mm. Is it good? I mm. told you I love this. Everything's good, but because personally. Oh my god. Personally, yeah, I do not like coconut shavings. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the, but the whole thing is good, so I will give this like um um for a dessert. It will be very good, so uh -huh. like ten. All right, but with the <laughs> coconut shavings, <laughs> I'm gonna give it like with the coconut shavings. Yeah, this is me personally because I don't like coconut shavings. Okay, we got it. Like seven. <laughs> okay, seven. Okay, yeah. okay, that's still good. But yeah, overall, it's very good. <laughs> You're so picky. No. It's literally so good. Flauna. Oh, it's flauna. Say it, flauna. Flora. Flauna. No, I repeat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just okay, try yeah. it. So this flauna is made by a Cypriot grandma here. Her name's Flora too, right? No. Oh, so this is a traditional. Yeah. Oh. This is a traditional Cypriot uh, pastry that we do during Easter. Good. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. It's very buttery. Is that butter in the middle? What is that? No, it's cheese. Mm. It's mm. cheese. That's mm. why it's yeah, cheese. Yeah, I can taste the cheese now. Mm. Rated. It. It's not bad. It's a nice snack to eat. Um, yeah, it's a snack with your coffee or. Nine. Nine. Ooh. Wow. But again, because the uh, raisins is there. Ah, uh, it's a dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Because for me personally, I'm not really into flowness, so I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Oh, I like that as a snack. Yeah, it's good as a snack, yeah.